Um, so... Awesome news if you're uh, a Twitch Prime person. You can uh, get a bundle for Fallout 76. <laughs> Is the bundle that if you purchase the game, it also comes with regret and depression? <laughs> I value my free hard drive space more than I, I value think, getting that game for free. I, I think you're required to have that before you get the game. I, I feel like they should bundle that game with No Man's Sky. Hey, at least No Man's Sky is an actual game that yes, has yeah, quality now. No matter what I say about No Man's now. Sky, I actually, like, at this point, I say it as memes. I know that that game is actually yeah. getting constantly updated. Like, they added mechs, apparently. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's still not like. Does anyone play it though? Because everyone tried to play it and it wasn't ready for release, and well, everyone left it. It's not quite an anthem. Uh, people do actually play it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember when you were here last. It worked yeah. out really well for you. So I haven't played this game in two weeks, and yep. in the time since then, I have played a different Souls-like game with a very different mm. button setup. Mm. <laughs> so you can imagine how well this is going to go. Which game did you play? Uh, Code Vein. Also oh. known as Anime Souls. Really? Yeah, sounds about right. It is very enjoyable and very anime. What? Um system is that for? Uh, well, uh, a lot of them, but I have it for PC. Okay, cool. Adding that to Knucklehead Knockoff Season 3. <laughs> <laughs> season it's... 3 just gonna be the season of the Dark <laughs> Souls knockoffs? See, here's the thing, John. The problem is I'm not sure how well it'll work for that series. Not because it is not a knockoff or because, like, it doesn't quite work with it, but because character creation could be an episode. <laughs> there is a lot of options in that character creator. There is, it is Code Vein? Yeah, Code Vein. That's the name of it? Okay. I actually, I bought it, uh, because I haven't seen it go on sale, like, really ever since I put it on my list, and I just needed mm -hmm. a game to play, so I bought it, and two days later went on a weekend sale. <laughs> Figures. That's how it go. I just had a really mean thought. Okay. Hey kids, now? do you want to play Anthem, but you have self-respect and no money? Try Destiny instead. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one's a better game right this minute. <laughs> <laughs> By the time Season 3 rolls around, probably Destiny. Almost Hopefully certainly. Ah. <sighs> I have not played Destiny in. Let me let me actually pull up my my Steam library and we can see the last time I played uh, Destiny. I'll do the same. Five days ago, April eleventh. I've played more recently than you, but that's because I still enjoy the game. I want to enjoy the game. Well, What's stopping Iron you? Man is skipping it, so Good let's game. enjoy the game. <laughs> what about you the still game? have hope? Is it Nothing that you've like done mostly everything? Uh, they... <sighs> We've done mostly everything that we already want to do, and the new stuff just isn't worth doing. Yeah. Apparently, I misspelled violent in the most recent episode. Chill. So... Bro, trying to get volant. The most problematic part of playing this game after using a completely different control scheme is mostly that in the other game, uh, R1, or the, the right bumper, is uh, walk, or like it, it's the like run button, and in this game it's the attack button. Yeah, that's that's different. And so every time oh, I wow. try to start running, I'm just like, Nyeh! I'm like, oh shit, that's no, that's not. Can you re um, remap them? Uh, in either game, for consistency, I am not sure. I I think you might be able to remap things in Code Vein, but it would be a bad idea, because okay. 
the way Code Vein works differently from Dark Souls is that Code Vein has like abilities, like special attacks you can use, and to <clears throat> use them, you have to do R2 followed by a face button or the D-pad. And so remapping that to one of the face buttons would be a horrible thing to do. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I, I've had to remap buttons just for consistency before, because, um... In Minecraft, mm -hmm. I had to remap shift to control. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, in Minecraft, pressing control makes you run, pressing shift makes you crouch. Wait, and that is oh. the opposite of what it should be. Yeah, what? That is a horrible <laughs> concept for a control scheme. Um, so yeah, switched that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, another series. Uh, in the Division Two, if you press F, that's how you interact with the universe. I thought that's Still. how you paid respects. No, you you well, like. Well, that's how you interact with the universe, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair. You want to loot a box, you press F. You want to talk to someone, press F. You want to interact with the... Uh, they don't understand the whole thing, D mechanic. Press F. Um, and... Uh, Destiny, Andrew. pressing F is how you ignite your super. <laughs> yeah. So after playing Division 2 for a bit, I'm like, Alright, cool. Let me run up to this, uh, this sign, and I nuked it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I nuked the sign. Okay, cool. I didn't mean to do that. Just wanted to activate it. <laughs> what is, do you think, like, the weirdest control scheme you've, like, what game has the weirdest control scheme? For, like, I was like, what's the weirdest control shoot? scheme I've seen? Well then, <laughs> let me tell you. It's I'm... when I played uh, ukulele with okay, yeah, no, the no. pad and DK Bongos. Clearly not it's... that. Well, okay. Still you didn't just... have enough buttons, so I used a clap voice sensor to pick up my claps <laughs> to do another button. Yeah. Sorry, let me rephrase. What is the weirdest default control scheme you have seen in a game? Uh. Surgeon Simulator comes to mind. <laughs> um, I suppose I, I, I suppose my um, like, I, I should add, that wasn't supposed to be silly or weird, it was just badly mapped. Yeah, um, well, it's, it's a little bit weird because it's a change from what it used to be. Uh, Hi, but Rose. any game that uses the arrow keys. Yeah. And that's, it used to be the, the standard. I was going to say that's pretty normal. But nowadays it is, uh, horrible. Yeah. You know what? I want to know what the first game to use, uh, like, QWER, or Q, sorry, WASD, Jesus. <laughs> what I was gonna say. Um. Dom, do you struggle with games? Because I think I might have found why. <laughs> I just struggle uh, with life. Wikipedia says that it's Dark Castle, maybe the first game to use WASD. Came out in 1986. Good game. Never heard of anything about it, but the fact that it did that. Yeah. <laughs> game for uh, Mac, Amiga, Apple II, MS DOS, Genesis, Commodore 64, and the CDI. Oh, this explains a lot. Dark Castle was one of the first to allow you to use WASD. The first one that used it by default was Half Life. Dark Castle walks a half life good run, I guess. Yeah. I think we should start a new method where we use UHJK. <laughs> Call it the middle uh. ground. Well, I'm actually, with IJKL. Yeah. Yeah, but that would be that's too mainstream. <laughs> here's here's. Uh, I, the 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 page that showed it was 
the Wikipedia page for arrow keys. And alternative keys include, um, weirdly, 5678. What? <laughs> Wait, 5678? Yes. And it's, How? It doesn't mean the numpad, it just means in order. Uh, That's the top thing. Wrong? Uh, yeah. Followed by I've had lost. to use HJKL before. Uh, yep, that's one of these. That there's WASD, then ESDF. Um. DCAS. Which is, is just wrong. DCAS? Sometimes ASDC, but it's... Everything about that is wrong. Yeah. So D and D and C are forward and back. A and S is left and right. I, I uh, don't oh, hate oh, it. I... Marathon used it by Bungie. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I'm, I'm actually like interested in it because it's very ergonomic. A S C F. A S D C. A S D C. Okay. Yeah, because you you just do ASD and then when you want to go back, you just press you you switch your. Oh, I, back. I was thinking like you put your pointer finger on C, middle finger D, ring on S, pinky on A. I guess. And so it puts your your arm at like a bit of an angle. Yeah. Which is like the weirder part, but I guess that's good for if you're like getting low to the keyboard like a true gamer would. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I I I would do ASD because you're never going to be moving forwards and and backs at, at the same time. So, and that's that's an easy shift your finger down to go backwards. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons WASD is so good is because your middle finger can do both. Yeah. Very very easily, in fact. I mean, it's it's pretty common to move left and right quickly. You know, strafing is very valuable. Yep. Um, but yeah, moving forwards and back is, is less needed. All right. So following, uh, DCAS is, uh, IJKL, which very common with that. IJKM, which I hate. Yep. <laughs> I, I hate that. That is the, the worst. <laughs> what is I J K M. Don't even do that. I no. J K M. Yes. This is awful. <laughs> what it the is. fuck? Just turn like, your hand ninety degrees. Just do I J K L. <laughs> like that would have been okay. Um, pointer M, middle J, ring I. See, I like to use uh, home, delete, page down, and arrow key <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, what, what I like to move, I like to use uh, escape, left, alt, pause, and space. Uh, see, see, my preferred method is uh, F1, F4, F5, and uh, print screen. <laughs> I can, I can, I can reach that. It's actually really two, helpful two because hands. every time you die because you did not like move in the right direction, you have a perfect print screen of when you didn't do it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> to look back on and to like strategize better. Uh, so another one is A Z keys, but that's just for if the keyboard doesn't have up and down. So if it doesn't have the arrow keys, then A Z goes A goes up, Z goes down, which is illogical. I could that that makes sense if you're in a situation where uh, you have a shitty keyboard. Which makes sense, because uh, it was uh, on the Apple II and Apple II Plus. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It definitely did have arrow keys, right? Maybe? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, this one. Uh, HJKL. Weird, because it's all in a row. And it's left, down, up, right. That's weird. Makes some sense. I feel like left up down right makes slightly more sense. But it's left down up right. Yeah. Uh, then 
SDF space and ASD space. Why are you spamming the chat with nonsense? I'm not. She's you trying to do the Konami code. Me. Yep. But you didn't tell me what start was or. <laughs> uh, Z and X or A and B. I think start is enter. Usually. Um. W Q S E. W Q. S <laughs> so it's what? <gasps> it's how it's the dare of laws. How dare you be that close to the zone and then use it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like ASDX would make more sense if you're gonna do that. That that'd be like getting into a manual car and finding out the clutch is actually a big like button <laughs> where the horn usually is. And it's like, alright, you technically oh, got awful. all the things right, but you fucked it up somewhere. Oof. Okay, there's a Q-A-O-P. Q-A-O-P? <laughs> yes. Up, down, left, right? Yes. Okay. They could have done worse. Yeah. Could have been Q-W-O-P. Uh, Which might also be one of the worst... Controls yeah. I've ever done. Yeah, it's quad. This is... It is a game. <laughs> this one is the same as IJKM, just shifted to the left side. It's a uh, ESDX. ESDX. Yes. Hate that too. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. one that I'm okay with. Numpad keys. Yeah, yeah. I've just played games with that. Eight four six two. Uh, you know, I think I figured out what could actually be the worst power, or, uh, um, like, control scheme out of all of them. It, it's like WASD, but it's WAS power button. I was just <laughs> thinking, um, Alt F4 L A. <laughs> as long as you don't try to move left and forward at the same time, you keep playing the game. <laughs> using um, the mouse to move and using WASD to look. Uh, one that I'm less okay with than the numpad, which is WAXD, uh, includes QEZC. It's the, the eight key surrounding S. It's the same as the numpad, but I hate it, because it's surrounded by a bunch of bullshit, and... I've played a game that was local multiplayer numpad and something similar to that. Did you say the eight yeah. keys surrounding S? Yes. Yes. Q W E A D Z X C. Why do you need to be able to move in hex? This is why hex uh, squares are ruined in D and D. That's that's not hex. That's diagonals. Uh, it's it's also um it'd be what oct. Yeah, oct. Uh, I do like the idea of a game being controlled by hexes though, where it's like you can't move forward or back, but you can move up into the left and up into the right. So, vaguely related is the ZXC layout, which is just, that's <coughs> standard emulation, AB, uh, and then other characters. <laughs> ABX, or... ABX? I usually do, when I'm doing an emulation, and I don't, before I had controllers, I do WASD for movement, and then... J and K are A and B, U and I are L and R, or uh, X and Y if it's a SNES game, and then O and L are remaining keys. I killed one of them! Good job! I'm actually really Yay. proud of myself, because that was really hard. I shot two cannonballs at him. <laughs> And 
then there's awesome keys on your keyboard, like scroll lock, which does fucking nothing. What mm. the fuck does scroll lock do? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like, you know what uh, shouldn't be a key on the keyboard? Num lock. Because it should never be turned off. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I hate when you try to type a number and it scrolls a bit, and you're just like, wait. <laughs> Especially since Numlock is great for muscle memory, so half the time you're not even looking at it, and then... ...didn't take any of it. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, those enemies. <clears throat> All right, you fucking asshole. Come fight me. Oh, that reminds me. Um, <clears throat> have you all heard about the, uh, well, have you heard that you shouldn't be rimming right now? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> no, it's government, government guidance. I mean, uh, the, the state of New York released a um a health guidance uh notification for for sex and the coronavirus disease Is it it's quite possibly even more entertaining than what came with our marriage license i'm actually impressed that it, it isn't a sheet of paper that says don't <laughs> <laughs> um it has nothing to do with the coronavirus just don't we don't want to think about it Oh, uh, we are guided uh, guided to have sex with people close to us, so that's cool. You know, mm. just anyone close to you, have fun. So your so nearest have relatives. Have sex with people nearby, but don't rip. That's your only yeah. guidelines. Correct. Um. Uh, further down this this list is uh. Uh, bullet point three. Take care during sex. Kissing can easily pass COVID-19. Avoid kissing anyone who is not part of your small circle of close contacts. Next bullet point. Rimming. Mouth on anus. Might spread COVID-19. Might. We haven't done the research on this because, I mean, really. Virus and feces <laughs> may enter your mouth. But which way does it go? I appreciate that they're like virus and feces. That's not anything to do with COVID, it's just a reminder that you can get shit in your mouth if you rim someone. Just, yeah. you know, for anyone who rims, how fucking gross can you be? That's why everyone's buying toilet paper. <clears throat> I really- You know what? That doesn't help, actually, I don't think. <laughs> but I'm still gonna th agree with you and say that that's definitely it. You don't think they can pre-clean? No, I think you can pre-clean. I think you just have to use something besides toilet paper. <laughs> oh. I just love the fact that someone in government came up to someone else in government and said, Hey, I need you to write about rimming and produce this official document guidelining rimming. And I need you to get President Trump's signature on it. <laughs> no, does not, does not have President Trump's signature on this. I, I really like the, the part in here of, um, did they at least spell everything correctly? Seems to be. Because I remember they misspelled cum in um, the marriage license. Oh, Got yeah, packed. they did. Like, did they spell, like, C-O-M-E? They're like, and then if the man, open quotation mark, C-O-M-E, as close quotation. I was like, first of all, why the quote? Second, why the misspelling? And if the man approaches you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like, wait, we're already in the middle of sex. And it's like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. No, you're not. You better not be. <laughs> I, I appreciate the fact that it, throughout this, is like, have sex with the people close to you. You are your safest sex partner. Masturbation will not spread COVID-19, especially if you wash your hands and any sex toys with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before and after sex. And I like that they're they're actually... You know, thinking about. Oh, they're thinking about something. <laughs> and so should we. The state says to jack off. 
Just watch uh, your toys. I also really appreciate the fact that uh, in this it says, if you usually meet your sex partners online or make a living by having sex, consider taking a break from in-person dates. Video dates, sexting, or chat rooms may be options for you. So that, honestly, is really interesting that they put in there. Considering half the things they mentioned are illegal. Yeah, sex workers have a hard enough time as it is. Yep. The, and they were just like, consider yeah, other the, options for now. The fact, the fact that they were actually considerate at all towards uh, sex workers is incredible. The, the fact that they were like, we see you and we're not going to say anything negative about you. Yeah. We just want uh, you to be safe. Unlike AIDS, this is not the... Uh, AIDS was the gay killing virus. Uh, COVID is the killing the virus. yeah the prostitute killing virus. Let's just okay, let them all so, die from it. So I've done some research, and this is definitely something I want in my search history. I'm already worried. <laughs> I was worried when Tim said he did research. I was worried um, when I just heard his voice start. The um. A variant spelling of C O M E. That's the archaic spelling, and it's why came is still the past tense. I mean, it's also because saying that I come is probably the worst thing you could say out loud. <laughs> I think that's actually why it's. <laughs> yeah, it goes back to at least 1650. Oh, exciting. Yeah. I didn't have sex back then. But I am curious why this is what you got hung up on. Um, hey babe, do you count too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Apparently, the document in question was written by a bishop. So now I have questions. <laughs> really? No, that's the that document tracks. that takes it have back, you? <laughs> or the yeah. document that came with my marriage license. I mean, you really shouldn't have any questions. This this really follows with with expectations. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I would have been, I would have had questions if the cardinal was like, when the man nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but those questions would have been, damn, this cardinal's cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I, I recently saw an image that, um, well, let's just say it's, it's wrong and I hate it. Oh, is it Sonic um, Hedgehog from yeah. the new movie? But before this, this was... <laughs> This was a uh, religious poster uh, talking about how uh, it is unnatural to be LGBT. Yep, I already hate it. Go on. And and the options it were, uh, it said LGBT, and then it actually listed out what those were. And it was uh, lesbian, gay, black, transsexual. Um. Um. <laughs> Mom, dad, I'm black. <laughs> This is unnatural. <laughs> Not only this is unnatural, but God didn't mean for you to be. Yeah. Black. You're a mistake in God's eyes. So, unfortunately, pretty sure there are still people who think that. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this was not intended. When... However, whoever made this is still a racist piece of shit. Yep. Because yep. somewhere in their head, that made sense. <laughs> When you're drunk and you accidentally mix your racism in with your homophobia, and, <laughs> and this comes out. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, I hate... Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, run. It's, it's just... No. Last time? Do not interact. Only move. Good luck. Yeah, it's boss time, except that the boss is just this alleyway. See, you said don't interact, only move, and it just made me think of that dog meme. What dog meme? The dog, the dog is there holding a oh. toy. And it's like, oh yeah! Throw! No take! Only throw! <laughs> no, that's not boss here. What are you talking about, John? See, look. It's, uh... Yeah. Obviously a boss zone. Uh, I think we actually mentioned a bit about this boss and how I said this is possibly the most <laughs> horrifying thing you'll see. Uh, also, Rose. You are absolutely yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. Bisexuality erasure continues even in LGBT hatred. 
we hate you so much, we're not even gonna accept, like, we're not even gonna consider you in the thing. <sighs> For real. Oh, cool, the moon is oozing, which is great. No. Does that mean no, there's a just tomb a ship coming? Man. So it's okay. It's not a horrifying monstrosity. It's just once. Oh god. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's cool. Do you think we could roast it? Actually, you know, out of the two of us in this arena, it might be the more attractive one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm gonna take that back. He has a lot of ugly heads on him. I only have one. Oh, this thing that horrifies is a me. lot of skulls. <laughs> then kill it. Oh, I plan to. But the first, I have to kill his friends. Oh god, that's not what I want to be his lover. You gotta kill all my friends. I died. So this poem actually gets even worse. It's called <laughs> Washing in a Meadow Green. And it's about watching a guy who comes early. Uh. Uh. Tim well. told Tim to come up with a segment. Tim, he come early. Did not have said this. <laughs> yeah, Tim, come early. Uh. uh. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the past tense of not should be new. <laughs> 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 Did I, did I just make the worst possible sexual phrase? <laughs> I also appreciate the idea of being like, you're gonna make me newt! <laughs> she turns me into a newt! Oh gosh. <laughs> um. Oh, you lost all your souls. Nats nah, there weren't many. I'm in boss mode, so I don't really have to do, like, get a bunch of souls. I just have to actually try to get to him. Which sucks, because this area is very far from him, and I don't know if there's a, a thing in the way, or on the way. Yeah. But the One uh, Reborn is certainly a toughie of a boss. So, uh... To, to bring up sex, um... Well, that's already been done. I got a, an email this week, and apparently someone used my my crap email address to join a dating site. <laughs> you didn't mm -hmm. tell me about this. And, I was really uh, hoping you were going to say that the email address you got from was .com. Oh, that would have been great. That's How is that not out there? I don't know, already? honestly. I don't know. It's there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, there's a there's a oh, there's plenty hell, wrong with it. hell of a lot wrong with it, but uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, apparently my email address is joined to the site mexicancupid.com. It's just called mexicancupid.com. <laughs> yes, you should click change my password. I think I shall. <laughs> to claim whatever account it is that's in his email address, his name. <laughs> well, wouldn't they have sent a confirmation email? Probably. Well, you I should mean, probably change the password on the email first. Yeah. In fact, just stop using email. Well, it says. I mean, the the website or the the email I got was welcome to mexicancupid.com membership details inside. So that's not okay. all that's huh. fine. Oh, no, don't kill me now. Uh okay. Hold on, I gotta take care of your fucking shitty friends. Alright, I'm getting a password reset email now. Oh, you're just doing this live, huh? <laughs> Of course. Why not? Um, I don't know. We fucking 
talked about his Steam library last time. <laughs> hey, don't uh, don't don't foreshadow the the later uh, segments. <laughs> uh, so last week, not last week, the last time we did this, I asked for more um, uh, reviews and comments that I can read, and uh, fortunately, I got some. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with the one that I thought was the most enjoyable. Uh, where is it? Ah, yes. Uh, Stephen Jones posted a timestamp to 37 seconds into the the video. I don't know what that what was happening then. Probably nothing. And finished it up with coronaviruswin.com, which of course. Of course I went to. And it's down now, but it was a coronavirus dating website. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's apparently a thing now. Huh. Well, hate but this why, man. though? Because all those people that are in relationships and can't actually stand being around each other are breaking up. He summoned corpses. What Actually, it's summon? because of the beans. They're breaking up over beans. What? Everyone breaks up over beans. Apparently. What are you talking because about? Because Reddit is true. <laughs> and Reddit is an accurate view of the world. Oh, okay. Question. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> beans, keep up. Uh. <laughs> there have been... At least two separate, I think it was relationship advice uh, posts um, that have heavily featured beans. The first one I remember was uh, guy, dude really likes his beans. Like he really likes his beans. So he got got a bunch of beans. And this isn't a euphemism. This is like this is like he got several pounds of beans I, I, that's that exactly what i was thinking dried beans and uh and because he likes to have his beans and he came home one day and his co girlfriend had cooked all of his beans and froze them which is a waste of time because beans keep forever uh and frozen beans do not taste as good as fresh beans and uh it became an issue and i think in the end they ended up breaking up <laughs> which makes sense because she took his stuff and did not apologize when he was upset i uh, see that's the part that like yeah up until then i was like i mean she was trying to help but like you can drop that out and then like, she didn't apologize i'm like oh right i forgot that this is a relationship no like they got in, they got into a fight over it yeah. yeah, I just temporarily forgot this was on a relationship advice post on Reddit, <laughs> and thought that either of the two people would be a normal human. Yeah, you you, <laughs> you forgot that this wasn't 4chan. Um, I love the implications the other... that if it was on 4chan, it would be easy and it makes sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, is 4chan known to be... more mature? <laughs> no, significantly less. Um... So yeah, uh, that was the. Why the did the wagon one. just vomit corpses at you? The the second one was um, recent. Yeah, uh, the second one was since the beginning of the pandemic. Dude likes his beans, so he went and he bought. I hate how uh, often your stories start with "dude <laughs> likes his beans." <laughs> I'm gonna start all my stories from <laughs> now on with "dude likes his beans." I like there's a difference in this. The first dude had dried beans, like bags of beans. This guy had yeah. canned beans. Yeah. I cannot wait for the time that you're late to work and they're like, "What happened?" And you're like, "All right, here's the thing. Dude likes his beans, right?" <laughs> <clears throat> so he bought yeah. a few of. You know, each type of canned bean he uses a, bun uses a bunch of. And then he came home one day, and they weren't there. And so he asked his girlfriend, and she said that uh, she was worried that people would loot the house and steal the beans. So she went out into the woods and buried them. 
She sounds I like a manager was, I used to have. I wish I was making this up. <laughs> um, I and also then... wish I was making up that she sounds like a manager I used to have. Yeah. I'm really curious which one. Oh, you you know him. Uh, Start. Oh. His him? wife also was our manager at some point. Oh, really? Yup. Barry uh, shot in the woods because he expects an apocalypse. Uh, are we talking frat boy? What, is he is he a frat boy? I like how there have been, been so many yeah. managers that bury stuff out in the woods because they expect an apocalypse that you need <laughs> clarification. No, I'm thinking of the only husband-wife manager group that I really know. I mean, probably that one then. Okay. Um. Red hair? Uh, no. Oh, well, the... The wife, yes, not not the yeah, okay, husband. That's, okay. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. I was I was thinking the husband. And I was like, wait, what? <clears throat> no, not at all. I was no. like, absolutely not. I, that would horrify me. I think. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Uh. So then, then he was like, "Cool. Where'd you bury them?" She said, "No, I'm not gonna tell you because then you'll go and dig them up." Well, yeah, of course <laughs> I'm gonna dig them up. I bought them to use them. Bro, is really role playing this. This poor man who lost his beans. I need D&D. Really <laughs> I'm not gonna go dig them up. <laughs> so yeah, it ended up they got into a fight because she wouldn't go dig up the beans that she hid in the woods for no reason, and uh, so she ended up packing her stuff and leaving. Still didn't have his beans. And you know what they World say: three, don't come between a man and his beans. Man loves his beans. <laughs> And you can take that C-U-M however you want. <laughs> Don't come between a man. I like how you said you can take that C-U-M however you want, not you can take that cum whichever spelling you want. I like how you quickly reworded that halfway through that sentence because you understood that if you had just continued that, it would not have sounded very good. So is this just the worm that walks area? I don't know what that means. Does that help? <laughs> You're not familiar with the worm that walks? No. 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 <laughs> Literally no one but you is. <laughs> huh. Is okay. that like the it's, white that wins? It's a pretty straightforward um, horror trope. It's basically thousands of worms in a trench coat pretending to be a human okay that's a fairly simple concept <laughs> there you go so you're Horror telling me the, the, the most normal version of that trope is when there's three kids in a trench coat stacked on top of each other yes love that that's a horror trope technically <laughs> <laughs> so uh that was my final sneeze into the mic. Oh, thank I hope you all enjoyed it. We did. How is that not a horror trope? <laughs> Bless you. What do you mean, how is it not a horror trope? The final sneeze into the mic is terrifying. Yeah. Three kids in one place sounds like a disaster. But if they're all pretending to be one person, then it means that they've, they've enforced a rule on themselves to be uh, less unruly. That's fair. But it also means three kids working together for some mischief. I went into retail because I couldn't handle babysitting anymore, and I made the right choice. Oh, I went into it because of the economy. <clears throat> that checks out. Kinda. Turns out that would make you do a lot now. of poor choices. I thought you were going to say, I went into retail because I couldn't stand babysitting anymore, and boy did I underestimate these customers. <laughs> no. Still better than babysitting. Just a little bit. Uh. Here's ten dollars an hour to keep track of five kids. Oh, and also do the laundry. No. <clears throat> oh yeah, Tim's here. I can actually um. Put into action one of the segments that I had prepared two weeks ago. Is it the segment where you bug Tim for a segment? <laughs> no. 
No, no, that one comes later. <laughs> um, so, we we two weeks ago we we had the segment segment, uh, which we'll bring back eventually. <laughs> not not this week. Um, where we we go, there's a a list of 200 ideas for your next podcast, and uh, one of the segment <gasps> the ideas. Fuck? It's drowning was... quartering me. What the fuck? Wow. Holy cow! Whoa! Yep. That fucking terrified me. Yeah, and then you died, or you didn't. Weird. Why didn't what? you die? I didn't die. Uh, I mashed buttons hard enough that it forced it to drop me. Oh okay. Oh. Yeah. I feel like you should have died anyways, though. I I'm surprised I feel at how like little you should damage it did, buttons. honestly. Yeah, it very little damage. I'm assuming that if you didn't mash it, it would just be an insta kill. Probably, or at least like do a very large chunk of damage, so you'd have to have a lot of health or defense to make it. Yeah. So here's a chicken and egg question. <clears throat> did button mashing to escape become a thing because players did it already and they decided to make it a mechanic? Or do players do it because it started out as a mechanic that not all games do? I would actually assume that... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with... Um, like, I would use Pokemon as my, uh, as my, like, reasoning for this. But I, I would say it became a mechanic because some, it's something people already did. Because in Pokemon, players have a million ways to, like, press buttons in a specific way while you're trying to catch a Pokemon to catch it. It doesn't work, but it is a thing that players, like, did anyways. And in the same way, people will button mash or do anything in any situation, even if it doesn't work, just because it's the only thing you can do and it feels good. Yeah, it feels like you're... It's, it's like leaning to the side when you're playing a racing game. It doesn't yeah, do shit. Like a game where slamming the controller down on the innocent desk solves anything, but I know a gamer that does that. It's Donkey Kong 60. Yes, that's the gamer. The gamer is Donkey Kong 60? <laughs> uh, so anyways, um... You should probably the segment... answer Rose eventually. Oh, about anime souls? I mean, I might play that on here at some point. Oh god. Uh, so this, the segment was, uh, to interview a guest. Um, so Tim, I'm going to interview you. Oh, you're gonna interview Awake Tim. Who is our guest? Yes. Ow. Awake Tim. Um, <clears throat> so I, I looked up some, some podcast interview questions. Tim, what's something people seem to misunderstand about you? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not actually asleep, I'm just quiet. <laughs> Except for that one time. I was wondering. Yeah, why except for that one time. Snores creepily. <laughs> <laughs> heavy breathing into the mic. Uh, we were hoping you were asleep. The alternative was much worse. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Tim. Tell me about a patient that touched your heart. And tell me about a patient that changed your practice. Wait, is this specifically <laughs> for nursing? <laughs> No, no, th this, this is just generic podcast interview questions. So on the, the same list as the last one. I, I skipped question number three, which I'll get to right after. <laughs> yeah, I really don't have an answer. Oh, so I have a great answer for you. You know who was once a patient? Uh, your mom, when she was at the hospital giving birth to you. That probably changed your life. Um, all right. Question number three, Tim. Uh, okay. Sh show me on the doll where he touched you. What? <laughs> Is that on the list? Yes. It's true. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, uh, right about here where I'm pointing. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not, not only is that a, during a pandemic. Not only is that like a question that you should not ask on a podcast, it cannot be answered on a podcast. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, 
so uh, I'll I'll ask two more questions, and then we'll we'll call it for for this one. Um, what makes you feel inspired or like your best self? Honestly, good music. Okay. Uh, and then uh, final question: What should I ask you that I didn't know enough to ask? Note, he said this was the final question, so whatever you answer, <laughs> it doesn't get to ask you. You should have asked shoes. Where the mute button for bros mic is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's that's that uh, segment for, for this week. So I have the makings of a segment here. We'll see if it actually pans anything out. Uh, Dominic, give me a letter. Um, I, mean, I don't have Seven. much time to write one. Can I like get it to you like next week? Shit, how much are stamps right now? Uh, uh, just the always. first character will do. Okay, give you a letter. Um, epsilon. E. Got it. Nope, epsilon. Too late. I personally I prefer Oopsalon. <laughs> Oopsalon, is that where you fuck it up? <laughs> Close enough. Oh, okay, good. Uh, let's just use the uh, suggested password for Mexican Cupid. Is it Oopsalon? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Dom, what is your opinion on... Oh, let's call it Joe Exotic. What? Um, shouldn't get any attention. My Mexican Cupid profile has been terminated and cannot be reactivated. But how are you going to get Did a Mexican? Did you violate date? the terms of service? Not my or understanding. Not Mexican enough. <laughs> well. Sorry, John. Guess you'll never get a Mexican wife. <laughs> uh, let me uh, let me move this to not spam because um, why? There is a. <laughs> Are you gonna contact customer support? <laughs> no. <Good>. No. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where'd it go in here? Welcome to my favorite segment, which is. Jonathan doing stuff that is regularly done in the privacy of his own house and not with anyone else, but this time it's on a podcast in front of people, and we just kind of have to be here while it happens. All right, so congratulations, you're a cam girl. I <laughs> fucking finally. It's about One time I've been trying for years. <laughs> um safer than being a sex worker so i i yep. unspammed a um a message that mexican cupid had sent me uh dear mm, uh your new matches based on your current match criteria here are eight <laughs> new singles that we think are an ideal match for you check them out and say hi uh they there's are way uh, too old for you adrian 45 in the distrito federal in mexico uh, Amin, 41, and, uh, Ensenada, Baja, California, Mexico. Oh, Edgar. Edgar's got, got some eyes on him. 35, Toluca, Mexico. Edgar thinks he has eyes. Mo, he's 39, from Kuwait. I don't know why he's in here. Well, I'm assuming it's... Buffy. Buffy. The uh, that is definitely a made-up name. <laughs> yeah. Some all names are made up. Uh, thirty-six in San Fran. Uh, Cruiser. You have to see this picture. <laughs> oh, oh, it's here. Uh. Cruiser. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh Buffy's actually from ColumbianCupid.com. Oh. Oh, I didn't know there was, like, <laughs> multi-platform play. <laughs> Why is his head roughly the size of his neck? <laughs> what are you guessing um, on? Like... <laughs> so, just to, just to give you an idea of this, uh, so that was Adrian, uh... This is a mean sorry for the people who are watching this later. It's in memes and Joe jokes. Uh, and then we get to <laughs> meet Jeff. <laughs> 39 Austin, Texas. Why is Jeff in this list? I'm sorry, but Jeff is not my type. Jeff looks angry. Jeff is not my type. Are any of them your type? Uh, I mean, the may maybe Buffy. Maybe I could see Buffy. I I could go on at least one date with Buffy. What a ride! <laughs> yep. Yeah. None of the audience can see any of those pictures. Well, I mean, they're in the Discord chat. They can see that. Oh, okay. Well, join us to the next next week's segment where John just reorganizes his bookshelf out loud. <laughs> uh, I would if I hadn't already done that within the last two months. You fucking nerd! <laughs> it happens more often than it should. Yeah, because it, it happens. Fit. We couldn't fit things in there, so it had to be reorganized. And now we can fit things in. Oh god. It's raining corpses. It's oh, raining hallelujah. Dead men. It is raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining dead men. <laughs> uh, speaking of, of death, uh, I was gonna saw, say new Corona song. A <laughs> uh, hilarious uh, Corona post I saw. The spread of coronavirus is based on two factors. One, how dense, how the, dense population the population is. is. Yeah. Two, how dense the population is. <laughs> One of the most like, like clever things I have seen in a long time. What I really like is someone posted on there. You wrote the same thing twice. What's the other one? And someone responded, "You're number two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. a perfect post. It is. <sighs> oh god, something's So, John, how good would you say your vocabulary is? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I don't know, you said pretty good instead of fantabulous, so... Hmm. <laughs> Splendiferous. Okay, so give me a definition, it doesn't necessarily have to be right, for the word clarihue. Clarihue? Yes, clarihue. Clarihue. That's just a medication. <laughs> I thought it was a Pokemon. <laughs> you're, you're not successfully healing, actually. Yeah, because th uh, this fucker won't let me. Uh, clarihue. Um, it's when you are trying to color something in, and you, you, you can't figure out what the right, um, color to use is. You're like, do I, do I use cream? Do I use white? What, what color do I need? And then all of a sudden, you experience clarihue, and you know which picture, or which color to pick. Okay, I can take that. The actual definition is when jingle not... summing up person's life in two couplets. Jingle? Yeah, a jingle. Oh, okay. I, I heard jingle and I was like, Me too. Okay, that? can you give us an example then? Because I'm actually super interested. Sorry, poetry is a different segment. <laughs> uh. 
Is it like there once was a man from Venus whose body was shaped like a penis? Does that count? That's too yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's technically it. Yep. Sure. That'll work. No one can say otherwise. None of I us can. fucking know anything. Uh, true. Bro. I don't. Uh -oh. Origation. Origation? Origation. It's, uh, <laughs> when you're growing organic produce and you have really good irrigation, but you're too lazy to say irrigation in the organic, so you just say orgation. Uh, okay. Alternatively, it's when you're giving a blowjob, but you can't keep it all in your mouth, so it sprays out the side. <laughs> it's oral <laughs> irrigation. <laughs> Can I, can I, can I give one? You're the only person who has that problem, John. Can I, can I give a definition? Next time you're giving yourself a blowjob, also? try not to do that. Go ahead, Dom. Uh, mine is, um, when you know someone is, like, a servant, but you can't remember which one, so you're like, they're, they're a maid, or a geishan, or, or something. <laughs> okay, yeah, all of these are better than the actual definition. <laughs> okay. I hope the actual definition is, like, when you came to... <laughs> the actual definition is charioteering. It's, it's, it's what? what? Charioteering. <clears throat> As in the act of driving a chariot. That's called origation? Yeah. Incorrect. Fucking bin her over here. <laughs> bin her. <laughs> Fucking bin her ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'm still going with my answer was correct. I, I did appreciate your answer. <laughs> it was the first thing I thought of when it was said. I was like, I can't not say this out loud. I also went with the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Do you have a okay, whirly dumb. egg? That's cool. Yeah. Pervicacious. Pervicacious? Pervicacious. Oh, no. Hmm. This can only go wrong. Oh, it's it's uh, it's when your cat goes on a bit of a holiday. It's per vacation. Yeah, I'll take it. That's the okay. most innocent thing That's... I've ever heard. In I, well life. done. I, I do want you to know. <laughs> I heard I per like... vacation and I heard per, and I was trying to go off that. And you're like, it can only go badly, and I was like, why? And then I realized it was per, and I'm like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So, before this has a chance to go poorly, it just means very obstinate. Huh. What's the etymology? Jim's like, no, this isn't the etymology segment. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Tim? I'm sifting through the bad ones. <clears throat> Okay, John, zoetrope. Oh fuck! Uh, this is a. I'm pretty sure this is a type of small animal that lives in the ocean. That's zooplankton. Okay. <laughs> Tim bringing the actual words out. <laughs> Um, well, and obviously a zoetrope is just something that pretends to be a zooplankton <laughs> in the most generic way possible. Oh, I, I thought it was, I thought it was like a, um, a, a, it's like a generic, like stereotype or archetype of a zooplankton. It's a zoetrope. Yeah. <clears throat> you know how, like, you go to a zoo and they've got a panda? And they've got flamingos, because every zoo has pandas and flamingos. Yeah. Those are yeah. those are zoetropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a zoetrope is a slotted rotate rotating cylinder producing primitive animation. That's what oh. it is. I I knew I knew the term. <laughs> I just couldn't remember what specifically it was. <clears throat> I, I can't wait for one of these for us to be like, oh, it's this thing, huh? And then Tim's like, oh, actually, it's when you commit regicide. Because <laughs> I've made zoetropes before. It's been a long time, though. So now I do all my animation on 
fucking digital. I'm on the top floor of the, the school. Oh, nice. That nice. means I'm one step closer to graduating. Uh, bro. Photogyric. The annoying thing is I feel like I've actually learned what this means. I think I actually have a guess that might actually be right. Okay. You want to give it a try? Well, I'll, I'm going to wait till till bro is done because it's bro's question. It's something about like light moving. Uh, my guess is going to be the opposite of photogenic. Okay. So it's when okay. someone does not photo photograph well. Okay. Uh, it's what John? it's. I'm gonna say it's. Oh, what you call when your uh, eye rolls back up in your your head. All right, bro is actually very close. It means turning towards light. Oh. <clears throat> How did Tim come with like actually maybe the best uh, segment we've had so far? <laughs> this is actually like fun. <laughs> you take that back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> John, I'm not sure this means Mexican Cuban. Your fucking segments are Tim come up with a segment. That's not a segment. <laughs> no, his segments are I'm going to out loud organize my <laughs> Hey, it's still in my segments. If we get to it later, we get to it later. And technically, that's my segment. John then, started doing it, but I'm the one who came up with it. And then his other segment is my <clears throat> wife and I look at Mexicans we might date. <laughs> Mexican men that are our ages combined. I think John figures out segments in the like throwing spaghetti against the wall method. <laughs> Except it's all uncooked. Don't. Nah. I don't. I don't throw spaghetti against the wall. I just eat it. Yeah, eat it or yeet it. Raw. Because I heard I just yeet it, and I'm like, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Yeet it raw. Dumb. Yes. Bloviate. Say it again. Bloviate. Um, I think uh, that's someone who gives G oral style. sex as well as a V8 engine. You haven't said no, so I'm going to assume I was correct. <laughs> to write or speak windily. I'm not sure I know what that means. <laughs> Does that mean like breathily? Like, do they mean like to talk like a character in a Dark Souls I think game? It means like long-winded. Yeah, I, I feel like it's people who won't shut the hell up. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that that's the usage I've heard for it before. Okay. Yes, because you've definitely heard people say the word bloviate in a sentence properly before. <laughs> I actually have. <laughs> Is it when you, is it when you looked up the word and like they had a use it in a sentence button and then it had the automatic Google voice use it in a sentence for you? <clears throat> John, okay. paneity. Paneity? Paneity, yes. Can you spell it? P-A-N-E-I-T-Y. Um, I'm gonna try and give a, a realistic answer here. Uh, the concept of, uh, omnipresence. It's a good try. I'll give you another one. The root is, I think, French. No, Spanish, not Greek. Okay. So, uh, the concept of being bread. bread. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'd like to give, give a quick shout out to Nightmare Fuel before we go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's right there. <laughs> I've been watching. Yep. Can't hear my eyes away, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, actually, no, John. The answer is actually the, to commit regicide. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Tim, is it really? <laughs> <laughs> Siri! Google! 
<laughs> no, it actually is the state of being bred. Is it really? <laughs> it really wow. is. I wasn't aware that I was in constant penaity. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you eat. So hold on. So when cats sit down and tuck their paws under themselves, that's they are... penaity? Yes. Yes, yes Incredible! <laughs> Rose, the, the one, one that Rose. isn't hoardy, that's the one. <laughs> and we're not talking about that one fucker who commissions artists to draw large blondes going through the shelves at a grocery store and buying white bread. That doesn't count as horny. We don't understand that one yet. I think there are still scientists working on that. Don't question it. I think I just uh... went feral for like a minute. <laughs> I just had a flashback to a different, really weird internet thing like that. Oh, hey, it's the Nightmare of Mensis. Tim, you want to know what? Um, you want to tell us what Mensis is? Mensis. Mensis. Uh, it's like generally... Memphis, only somewhat more manly. Oh, I would say it's <laughs> not very, quite very that, much Tim. the opposite. Because <laughs> um, it's not Mensis; it's Menses. I was gonna say Mensis is just months. Like. I know what you're trying to get at, but I'm going to refuse and just point out that it literally just means months. Yes, Memphis just means months. <laughs> Bro, retiform. Fuck, this is another one I basically John, know, but I can't. let me have a life. No! <laughs> I think retiform is the shape of your butt. Rectiform, never mind. Different word. <laughs> Retiform? Retiform, yes. Retiform is when you need forms for your, your work, but you don't want to purchase them on your it's own. It's like so the just... ideal of rhetoric. <clears throat> There's no H. Oh. Ret Retiform? R E T I F O R M? Yep. A hey, quick uh -huh. shout out to uh, environmental designers. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes, the environment is shouting out at them. <clears throat> Those faces look screaming. They look screaming. Mm -hmm. So, um. Go on. You were you were talking about uh, weird internet things. Like that, uh, the guy that keeps commissioning that random, uh, weird girls and supermarkets and bread and stuff. Never uh, mind, don't go on. Um, I, it's I, gradually I, changing forms. Uh, it reminded me of a YouTube channel called Dinkster Daily. <laughs> and, uh, it is a channel that has posted... <laughs> I hate this. Uh, the same 8 second clip every day for 4 years. Is this like that Facebook page that gives you the same picture of Nicolas Cage every day? <laughs> very, very similar. <laughs> but like, this, this, this guy is clearly dedicated to his craft. Um... I would uh, say that's all the of... opposite of a craft. <laughs> All of all of the uh, the image uh, the video clips are the same eight second clip with the same um, uh, title, and it is the clip from uh, Spy Kids 3D Game Over. Oh no! What a good fucking... <laughs> where, where Bill Paxton jumps out and says, "Somebody ring the dinkster." <laughs> uh... He is. Currently on, uh, five hours ago, he posted Dinkster number 1,504. He's definitely dedicated to something. This man is a true legend. <laughs> or he just has it set up to auto-post. No, because some of these are different. You just said they were all the same. Well, like... They're, they're, you they're, lied to us, John. They're always... We'll never trust you again. They're, Welcome they're to the next segment where John them. lies to us. <laughs> okay. It's the it's the show. It's the entire channel. Um, this is a five-year-long like segment. Yesterday, in addition to the uh, Somebody Ring the Dinkster 
uh, post. He also posted a one minute thirty nine post, one minute thirty nine second post of uh, Dinkster Punk twenty seventy seven. Who knows what that is? I mean, it's Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. But somebody rang the Dinkster. <laughs> Two months ago, he posted Noma Dinkster Power, forty two second clip. Uh. Yeah, this is a uh, true champion. So just because he sometimes posts additional things doesn't mean he doesn't have his computer set up to auto post. I uh, I think he's a a true. I looked at Twitch. You can set up scheduling. <laughs> I think he's a true internet. Uh. Okay. Fuck that! Yeah, you just got wrecked. That man yep. literally one-shot me as I was like methodically making my way across this place. This nightmare, he's just like, No! <laughs> Bad Hunter, sit. I was like, you can't just- Give me that spine. You can't just one-shot me! He's like, he he had a good smash. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> so, uh, what what was up with Rediform? Rediform is shaped like a net. Hmm. Okay. You wanna finish it out with a? Uh, oh God! Oh God. He hasn't even given you the word yet. You're already guessing a definition. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Dom, give me a definition for the word care widget. Care widget? Care widget. Care widget is one of those, um, it's like a, a, a kitchen tool that specifically is for peeling carrots. I hate it. <laughs> I hate the spiders. That's what I hate right now, because there's a lot of them. And it's not that Whoa. I... Oh, God. Oh, it's not that That's I don't like spiders. Spider. I'm not arachnophobic. It's just that they're... when they're really big, it's not okay. That's a lot of spiders, Dom. I know. Yep. That's a she's, lot of damage. She's very excited. It, it's, it's things like this that it's like... I, I'm not a fan of bugs, but mostly I don't like when they're just on me and I didn't know. Like, if I see one, it's fine. I can, like, react to it rationally. But when bugs are in a form that they aren't supposed to be, or a size, or, you know, like, anything where it's not normal of them, I don't like it. But it just means they're learning. That's the worst thing you could have said. Trust me, it's not. It's up there, but it's not. <laughs> no, but it was some, like, grade A nightmare fuel. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Welcome to my wife. <laughs> yeah, those words rhymed. Well done. Thank you. So, I mean, I'm not the one who did it. Does have any guesses? Kara Widget. Kara Widget. No one has other guesses because I got it first try, Tim. Uh it's a uh it's a tool specifically made for grinding caraway. <laughs> Just to make it even more useless. <laughs> Hi bitch. Okay. Bro, got anything? Um, it's how you describe that particular kind of customer that needs a manager for everything. Normally they're called Karens, but someone decided to add the word witch into it, but then that was too long, so they switched it to Kara Witch it. I love the okay. story. Yeah, it could be decided. the archaic form. That was, that was a long ass, uh, <laughs> we got there, eventually. Yeah. John, you're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> 
That's true, because right, sometimes so. I think Gentleman's Gank as a whole was just a really long joke that's leading up to a punchline that I don't know, and I'm not sure I'm going to want to. <laughs> that's okay. We'll never get there. One punchline. <sighs> so, the formal final definition is a quip or quibble, a pun, a conundrum. Wait, those Terrible. are all different things. Yeah, uh, say them one at a time now. A quip or quibble. A All right, pun. So a, a, a conundrum. Quip. A quip is a, a short... Witty remark? Witty remark. A quibble, as far as my understanding, is a uh, small argument. Oh, I thought it was a small quip. It was just a shorter <laughs> witty remark. Uh, what was after quibble? A pun. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, against just a, a witty remark, turn of phrase. And then a conundrum. Which is just a, a puzzle. Puzzles and puns are very puns different. Puns are wordplay puzzles, basically. Yeah. Loosely? That, well, like, if I had to... To connect the concept of a conundrum and a pun, that is the only way I could describe a connection. Yeah. And so. the quibble also throws in the conflict that you have in conundrum. Yeah, so these words have all kind of diverged, but originally they all basically meant a words. Hello? <clears throat> Will you come down, please, so I can kill you? No. Only when you're not looking. Only when it's time to learn more. There you go. You got it down. And now I'm going to leave because I don't want to deal with spiders. Why did you have to fight it? Why did why did you want it down? Uh, so that I could kill it now and it not follow me. Ah. Uh. But all the spiders are following you anyway. Not the big one. If I run in here, the big one can't get me. Oh. That's what it wants you to think. It's just coming around behind. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I swear to God, but I don't think there are any in the world of Bloodborne. I think we have been forsaken. <laughs> Tim's just sympathetic to the big one. Alright. Kristen. Wow. Why don't you pick a category in science and mathematics? A category in science and mathematics? Yes. Science. Uh... You have to pick science or mathematics, I guess. <laughs> mathematics. Uh, that's actually a category, so... All right, we'll go with that one. That one. Since when do I get the Tim questions? <laughs> oh, you're not. You're just picking what Tim's going to do. Gotcha. That was you know insane. what? That tracks. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Means I'm going to be stuck with the... So how many of these questions are going to be, am I pregnant? <laughs> as many as I can find. <laughs> Wow, actually, uh, most of these are oh! legitimate mathematical questions. <laughs> They're all fairly easy, but... What's X? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I couldn't find any... The anti-penultimate letter of the alphabet. <sighs> couldn't find any particularly fun ones, but we'll, we'll go with, uh... It's okay, Dom and I are being funny, so... That one's gotta be. Tim, a pancake, mm -hmm. the is four inches in diameter, contains five grams of fat. How many grams of fat are contained in a pancake that is six inches in diameter? <laughs> I can't wait for the answer to be a trick question, and it was actually a low-fat pancake. And it was a riddle the whole time, and it was just very shitty. 
because that's par for the fucking course with the other answers. A riddle? Don't you mean like a, a quibble, a conundrum? A, a pun! <laughs> Ah yes, riddles. Famously, the same as puns. <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying to do the math in my head. Okay. Do you, do you need me to say it again? I'm gonna say... 11.2 grams. For the first Hello. time, the spiders just chose it's not to follow me. No, they're just waiting for you to think that. It's 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 honestly kind of fucking with me. <laughs> now this man is gonna kill me instead. It's uh, it's seven point five grams of fat. Tim, are you actually? I did doing? radius <laughs> instead of. Uh, I did radius instead of diameter. Ah. Uh... Uh... So, um, here's, here's a slightly harder one. A 10 meter long trough has a cross section in the shape of an isosceles trapezoid that is 24 centimeters wide at the bottom, 40 centimeters wide at the top, and has a height of 36 centimeters. If water is being poured into the trough at a rate of, uh, 30.16 meters per minute, how quickly is the water level rising when the water is 21 centimeters deep? Uh, five. <laughs> Technically, Tim never said units, so depending on the unit, Tim's right. What What are the units, Tim? <laughs> User to find. <laughs> Image not drawn to scale. <laughs> Alright. My belief was if the textbook could do it, so could I. I, I could really use a lamp. I don't know how to read this. Could really oh, a chest. Oh. What is what is if Alright, when you're dealing with integrals, would you say the top number or the bottom number first? I would say the bottom number first. Okay. If the integral of one to seven of f of x dx equals ten and integral of seven to you said the top number first, right? Bottom number first. Bottom number. In the integral of 5 to 7, f of x dx equals 5.4. Find the integral of 5... <laughs> 1 to 5, f of x dx. Okay, if you actually want an answer, I'm going to need to write some stuff down. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I'm just going to say 5 again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... There, I, I shot it. I shot it to you. So, okay. while while you're working on that, um, uh, think, I think it's my turn actually to pick uh, Kristen's category. Uh. Where do my pins keep disappearing to? You're eating them. <laughs> Pen chewing wasn't <laughs> enough anymore. You just had to start swallowing them whole. Alright, unfortunately, you get four questions. <laughs> um, I know you don't actually like that, but uh, this should be funny. There are four questions. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got two, uh... No, no. They're, they're not What connected. category did you pick? <laughs> so the, the broadest category is pregnancy and parenting. Uh, this is trying to conceive. <laughs> I don't really like the pun on broadest, but go on. <laughs> uh, this is from Liz, three days ago. She asks... I'm ready for a baby now, but my husband isn't, and it's killing me inside? Question mark? <laughs> uh, my husband and I have been having serious conversations lately about having a baby. I want to stay trying in August this year, and what it sounds like you're going to be trying anyway. 
It try. sounds like you're probably going like... to be trying until August. It sounds like the plan was to be trying in August, and he wants to put that off, but she wants to stay with the plan of trying in August. But, Correct. But, no rimming. <laughs> that would be ineffective anyway. I, well, I mean, it's not... It's called foreplay. <laughs> it makes complete sense to wait till next summer, but for me, I know that means I won't become a mom for another two years, and the thought of waiting that long to become a mom is absolutely tearing me up inside. <gasps> Every time I think about it, I break down. You it's like I have such a strong urge for motherhood that I and I have for so long, and I don't want to wait any longer. I want to have a baby so bad. Has anyone dealt with this before? Have any advice? I just don't know what to do because although I know waiting is a smart idea emotionally, it's killing me and I can't keep breaking down every day. So, uh, Kristen. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know you want to have a baby so bad that it's killing you. Uh, 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 <laughs> what's your advice on how you're dealing with this? F find something else to do with your life because you can't do that to that child. Because when you eventually have a kid, and then they grow up, you're gonna be insane for babies again, and... And, oh gosh. What are you fighting, Dom? A man. I don't know, but it's dead. I would describe him as a miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> oh, okay. But enough talk. Let's on go on to the next topic. Um... My partner is pregnant with our first child and has become more short-tampered lately. How do I deal with this? <laughs> short-tampered? Short-tampered. Okay. Well, it's best if any kind of tampering is short, because the longer you tamper with something, the worse it gets. So be glad. Oh, okay. Uh, in keeping with the, the current events. What are the chances that coronavirus makes you infertile? Not enough. I don't know why I thought you were going to say, what's the, well, what's the chance coronavirus <laughs> makes you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I like that this isn't an endless pit. There is a floor down there, and it did wait till I got down there before it did the you died screen. Nice. So you have to nice wait, touch. like, five extra seconds? Anyway, 4.6. I, uh... I really like the... Show your work, Tim! <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's your answer? Yeah. Uh... Correct! Good job. Nicely done. Um, it wasn't actually calculus. <laughs> it was algebra. It was algebra. It looked fairly algebra -y. Looked, Yeah. I think you mean algebraic. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean algebra -y. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you listen? Um, all right, so I really liked the top comment on... Uh, the coronavirus and fertility thing. Uh, favorite answer. It's a respiratory illness. You don't make babies in your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Tell that to all the people with condoms stuck in there. Oof. How? <clears throat> or all gone wrong? Yeah. They suck a bit too hard. Uh. Alright, final question. <laughs> What does it mean when my mommy says that she is trying to conceive? Every time I hear sounds from my parents' room and tell about it, that's her answer. <laughs> it means she's trying to bribe the stork. It means they need thicker Tim? doors. Tim. We, like, we can't gloss over that Tim actually just came up with the best euphemism for banging I've ever heard in my life. Bribing the stork? Are you fucking kidding me? That's incredible! That is really good. Bribing the stork is a thousand times better than saying, like, doing it raw dog. 
Well, most things are better than saying doing it raw dog. <laughs> You're right. Doing it raw dog is one of the worst fucking, like, sentences I've ever heard, and I can't believe people have decided to, like, some people have chosen to say it ever in their lives. Mixing up the baby batter and pumping it in the oven. Ew. <laughs> baby batter is another disgusting term. Uh, what's your favorite yes. uh, term for dick? Mine's yogurt. Mayonnaise midget. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> DNA rifle. Yes. That one's my favorite. DNA rifle. That's a good one. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I need a... Uh, I guess... I don't think Tim has chosen a cat. Yeah, I don't think you've chosen the category for me before. Pick me a uh, a games and recreation category. Games. Hmm. <laughs> Pick one that'll give him the pregnant questions. Games and recreation. What ga sex games? Beach volleyball. Aroji. <laughs> Uh, I could... Nope, not on here. That would be under sports. Okay, fine. Um... Bless you. Specialty Thanks. dice. Uh, so would that be under gambling or board games? I think Dungeons and Dragons. Probably board games. Okay. I think that's under Dungeons <laughs> and Dragons. Uh... <clears throat> Oh, good. How to use an, uh, a, a Ouija board. <laughs> a Luigi board? <laughs> Is it bad to dispose a Ouija board like this? <laughs> Apparently there are certain ways you're supposed to get rid of a uh, Ouija board. I almost fucking called it a Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Aw, we missed you too, Dom. You guys are the reason I can't talk to people in public. <laughs> You do realize that this stream is technically public. It's okay. I, I actually realize that the, the real reason is my crippling social anxiety. <clears throat> oh. We had nothing to do with that. <laughs> the real reason is the cri crippling anxiety, social anxiety you gained along the way. <laughs> <laughs> the real uh... friendship was the stork we bribed along the way. <laughs> <clears throat> God, bribing the stork was just really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that in the future. Yep. Apparently, not a lot of people ask questions in uh, the board games segment because I've already found the uh, my Ouija board has stopped working. How do I get a new ghost? Oh, you actually do need new batteries. <laughs> Pretty sure you just need new batteries. Um. So, questions I chose were. Is chess racist since white always starts? I'm just gonna. Uh, just... Uh, I I think I think you Did could you just glitch through a rock. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just I fell to my death. Uh, I'm gonna turn it around to be racist in the opposite direction. Uh, chess is racist because it states that white people are super violent. They're always attacking first. I mean, to be fair, it originated in India, and they're... They hadn't seen white people at that time, pretty sure. It, it, it originated, like, forever ago. Uh, I don't want to look uh, this up. Trick question, it's actually classist. Are you just saying that because it originated in India? No, I'm saying that because you fucking oh, shit, like pawns shit, and knights yeah, to die. That's actually... That's very clever and I'm mad about it, but... I, I get it, it's because you can only do what your class allows you to do. And... Wait, is every RPG classist? Yes. Um... No. You can do things that your class doesn't allow you to do. You just completely are bad at it. Uh, so, next question is, which is best roleplay games to start with and understanding how to play? If they have one with one player? There are a lot of roleplay games, but I don't know which one would be best to start with. 
They have D&D, Warhammer Fantasy, Warhammer 40k Heresy, DC Heroes, Pathfinder, and Aliens. Um, Why is the title always so jolty uh, when the actual question can be somewhat fluid? Because... Get the fuck out of here, small man. Um... If, if you're going by easiest to get into, it's not Warhammer 40k. Play Pathfinder. Uh, one player. No. Yes, Pathfinder one player. That's what I'm going to start doing. Pathfinder one player, no uh, no glitches. Yeah, uh, no all warps. skulls on. Did you say all skulls on? <laughs> yes. Um... What's your favorite category to play RPG games in? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, my I, favorite category to play RPG games in is uh, first person shooter. RPG uh, games? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I play we'll dice games. <laughs> I, I have a I have a uh, diceless uh, DD or er, DD um, <laughs> uh, world. I, I prefer A RAM. <laughs> A RAM? <laughs> <laughs> all random all mid. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I, uh, Dom, alternatively. when you said diceless, I was just picturing like using a spinner instead. I just Fine. realized how horrifying these things are. These are birds, but with the dog heads. I yeah. yeah. I noticed. I don't like it. My uh, my standard way to play is um, uh, any percent. <laughs> as long as you get to the end of the campaign, then uh, it counts. Yeah. Record. Fortunately, with any roleplay games, it ends when it ends. Yeah. So. Well, well, I mean, like, you have to get to the end of the campaign, though. Oh. Uh... You don't have to watch the end cutscene, though. Okay, that's good. It's, I mean, it's just, they keep monologuing, and I'd, I'd rather just get out of there. Go home. This is my favorite kind of elevator. I feel very safe. You are not. Uh, as for which one of these you can play with only one player, uh, I mean, no like, death abuse. the the <laughs> the the best role play games to start with are probably going to be D and D and Pathfinder. That's just going to be the best ones to start with, and the also, but not one player. Just the best ones to keep going with. Yeah. Um. If you're trying to do it one player, then Warhammer's pretty much the only one you can do one player. Um, but even that's going to be a silly. Um, yeah. And then last question. Handling surnaming? I'm playing D&D, &D and I'm making a halfling named Arkham, Latin for bow. He is a arcane archer fighter. I can't seem to find a surname that sounds good. Uh, this man is a man after my own heart. My first D&D <laughs> character was an arcane archer fighter. It, it doesn't spread, COVID Rose. It doesn't spread it. We don't know the original cause. It could be that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I drive the store don't, to spread COVID? Don't don't masturbate. <laughs> if you masturbate, you get hair on your palms, you go blind, and you get a terrible respiratory disease that <laughs> murders you and a third of the population of the earth. Five dollars says someone out there believes masturbation is what caused COVID nineteen. No bet. Everyone I, knows I that will, it was five G. Yeah, I, I will I will uh not take that bet. I will raise that bet. <laughs> yeah, I, I certainly won't take that bet because I think someone already said something to the effect of, like, that or like I think they said, gay like, COVID nineteen is created by gays and only affects them. And then he also came down with it, which was an interesting way to come out. <laughs> oh. I think he was like, wasn't it like a, a priest or something? I, he was like the head of like. Uh, uh, like, like, like a governmental like office. I think like health administrator kind of thing. Something, yeah. 
I remember seeing that headline. That is unfortunate that that exists. Yeah. But again, uh -huh. hell of a way to come out. <laughs> okay, so surname for Arkham. Asylum. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say knight. <laughs> man. Arkham man. <laughs> I really like Arkham man. <laughs> You know what? Still satisfying. <clears throat> Don't you guys wish you could do cynicals out of your arms? Ah, yeah, the double in there. <laughs> that that makes it. Arkham, man. Where the fuck are you, nasty hoe? <laughs> this is one of the most fascinating and frustrating bosses, I think, in any Souls game. Because he's a nightmare? Uh, no, it's because he doesn't want to fight you face to face. So he runs off. And you have to find him. When you get to him, he's fairly easy to beat, but he keeps, like, teleporting away. <clears throat> yeah. God, the music in this game is still fucking good, though. Um. Uh, there's there's a a proud tradition of when it comes to doing surnames, taking an adjective and attaching it to a random noun. Uh, so maybe like Arkham Swiftbeard, I... or oh yeah, it's a halfling. So like Arkham Sneaky Toes. See, I, I think what, what the problem is, and it's why you're having so much trouble figuring out a good surname. <laughs> what? Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, you oh, stung? You stung. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That is a very halfling name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, oh. I, think, I think the real reason why you're having so much trouble figuring one out is because traditionally, um, like, like the name Smith, uh, many names are, like, surnames are a description of what you do. And you gave that it as first name. So, the best one you could come up with would probably be something like Arkham Bowman. <laughs> <coughs> Arkham Fletcher? That works really well, actually. Yeah, actually, that's really good. Huh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Arkham Huge Dong. Fucking rolls off the tongue so goddamn well, though. Uh, All right. I, I would actually like to posit that Huge Dong should be his middle name, and his last name should be Big Nuts. <laughs> so it's it's Arkham Huge Dong Big Nuts. I'm sorry, these nuts. <laughs> actually, it just be it should be Arkham Huge Dong. D's. And they're just that that allows for people to say D's? And then you can Like like the the letter? No, like D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Uh uh Arkham Massive Donger. <laughs> Mostly because it's really fun to call someone a massive donger. Uh Dom, I think you were on Entertainment and Music. Does that sound right? I think so. Sounds right. Has anyone not picked questions uh, for I someone haven't. else yet? Okay, <laughs> cool. You get to pick your own. Humongous Humongous longer? I actually like humongous longer. Like, just make it all one word. <laughs> All right, so Dom, your yeah. your categories are celebrities, jokes and riddles, music, radio, comics and animation, magazines, other, television, horoscopes, movies, polls and surveys. What were the first three? Celebrities. 
jokes and riddles, and music. Let's go with uh, music. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't get over Arkham Huge Dong. It's so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you imagine shaking hands with someone and they're like, oh, Jeff Smith, and you're like, huge dong. Arca, huge dong. <laughs> but for that first brief second, they're like, do you just say huge dong to me? Okay. Uh... I, I got some good ones. All right, so we'll go easy here. Uh, favorite album that most people probably never heard of? Um, Quiet World by Native Construct. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's really, really good. Um, I, have you heard that they've like disbanded? Yeah. Yeah. Understandable, but also just so sad. Yeah. So good. Um, what? Five songs released in the last two years would you personally endorse? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Yeah, I don't know. I, I very unfortunately have a difficult sense of time. Yeah. Yeah, when so it comes really... to music, it's it's tough. Oh, like, I, I have that, that issue in general. Anything over a month is difficult for me to realize when it was. Yeah. And music is significantly harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you fucking uh, get back here, you goddamn asshole? I hate this man! What, what would you consider uh, your favorite newest song? Like, what's the newest song that you really like? Um. And and it could just be new to you. That's fair. I, I would actually say, oh, you know what? Um, what is it called? Wild Side. It, it's the the opening to the anime B Stars. Okay. And it is a fucking jam. <laughs> it, it is. I, I believe like elements of um Electro Swing. Okay. But, nice. But it's like, it's very interesting and very good. I, I would heavily recommend um, listening to it. I, I found a uh, a like mapping to it for Beat Saber, so I have been playing that, and that is very enjoyable to play too. Yeah, I bet. Rose, at first I thought you were suggesting another surname. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> Butongadong, Arkham Butong. Well, you you have to have the, the adjective to it. <clears throat> You're right, Arkham Arkham huge Butongadong. <laughs> I'm Arkham tight Butongadong. I feel like Butongadong has. I, I feel the, like it, it is like it is packaged with an adjective. Yes. Yeah. It describes. I think the adjective is honky tonk. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes, Arkham Honky Tonk Badonkadonk. -tonk. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you meant Honky Tonk Badonkadonk. Uh, <laughs> Arkham Honky Tonk Badonkadonk. -tonk -tonk. Uh, like, I heard it, but it just hit again. Oh my god. <laughs> if that character walked up and said anything to me, I would not trust him. Uh, Alright, so, final music question. Um, oh, good. You shouldn't trust him. He wait, has a butt. I love that this category has name. given me talk, talk actual, real, interesting questions <laughs> that I can answer personally, instead of like how to get pregnant. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're 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 answering real questions here. Uh, speaking of, why do fundamentalists demonize the physical world? <laughs> <laughs> fundamentalists of what? First of all. I, I think adjective. fundamentalists that demonize the... What, what did you say? <laughs> Why the do fundamentalists world? demonize the physical world? Okay, I think... I'm gonna say just because the Osmium Court is nuts in general. I, 
I, I'd like to take a pause and say fundamentalists that demonize the physical world is 100% my favorite metal band. <laughs> and that is a legit metal band sounding title. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you lose to this boss again. Oh, yeah. It's... So. Excuse me, sir. I did not want to lock onto you. You know what's a really so. good metal band, though? Power Wolf. Oh, uh, do you know what I've been really listening to on basically repeat recently? What? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do, like, the ABC uh, song. God, I can't get enough of that shit. <laughs> Baby, baby shark. Baby shark, dude, dude, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, but baby shark, but metal. Metal shark. Ooh. It's actually just baby shark, but matched it's... up with the metal sonic music. Baby shark, dude, dude, dude. I, I feel like it's not actually going to be that great. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Which one? The metal version of it, or the one where it's matched up with Stardust Speedway? Correct. <laughs> All of them. I think it, it would be bad because it would be fucking anything to do with Baby Shark and thus horrible. <laughs> I don't have a problem with Baby Shark. It's His very comes overplayed. With Mama Shark. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm um, just clubbing this man to death. I think you are. It's very satisfying because he fucking deserves this shit. Uh, the band is Artificial Language, Ooh, and that interesting. The, they made one album that I'm aware of, The, the Observer. Aren't all languages artificial? And they are, in my opinion, very similar to um, Quiet World. Ooh, please send me that. Yeah, they're... No idea what the best way of sending this to you. <laughs> uh, if you send me, like, a, a YouTube link to, like, one of their songs. Uh... That's just a great screen right there. Just random dude from a dating site. The visual screen pause for Badunkadunk. And then Baby Shark. <laughs> Um, I can't remember the name of the band, but there is a, it's, the song itself is what I remember most, because it is very fascinating, it is called Age of Shadows, and, uh, it's beautiful, because at one section, they begin singing in binary? Interesting? Like, as, as, like, not background, but it is, like, like, it is a, a bridge, maybe? Arian. Um, and they, it, it's, okay, they start off with, like, singing ones and zeros, and then followed by, like, on and off, and then yes and no, and I was, huh. like, fascinated by it, and it's, it's this really interesting song, and so I, I, like, went to a binary converter, and I put it all in, and it creeped me the fuck out, because it just came up with help, help, and I was just like, god, that was a very creepy amazing, uh, like, extra layer to this that I love a lot. Yeah, the binary on-off and yes-no passages are binary representations of ASCII strings help, forever, and SOS. It is a very cool song. And, uh, that, that section of it, they sing that, like, like, it, it is, like, the background singers who begin singing it, and then it starts to, like, layer over itself with, like, multiple different ones. It's really cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I love this segment, where we just actually have an actually cool, legitimate conversation. Uh, I, I really like um, the fact that a lot of metal songs have a plot. Oh, yeah! Like, they, they are a legitimate story. Um, the uh, artificial language that, that I posted is is a story as well um just like quite world is yep uh if you want to hear another fun one with the story uh listen to <laughs> any of the rhapsody of fire albums but there's one specific one that's really good 
because it actually has a, a guest narrator, uh, and it's Christopher Lee. Nice. And it's incredible, because, like, voicing-wise, the narrator sounds exactly like Saruman. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, if, if you also want to hear another, um, metal song that, that follows the story, there's, uh, this little band called Blind Guardian. Yes! And, yes! And this, 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 I, this, I, this I nothing. tell me Nightfall in Middle Earth? <laughs> yeah, this, this nothing album called uh, Nightfall in Middle Earth. You mean yeah. the album that got me into metal? Same. Like, actually, my sister had that album, and... Uh, like, listening to it, I was just like, this is so fucking cool to hear this, like, I love that album for a lot of reasons. I love that it has, like, a song, and followed by, like, a piece of story, followed by a song. Like, they, they go on and off with it. Um. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm not a huge fan of the album in particular. Um. Uh, it it did not get me into metal. It it made me appreciate metal in yeah. that it this, this band was amazing. Um, For me, cause... it was just I was curious about metal, and it was the first metal band I heard of. So I was like, okay, and then yeah, it was like, it was... oh, Silmarillion, nice. Like the concept to me was incredible. So I it it gained a mild appreciation um, for the genre without actually liking any of the songs if that makes sense yes it wasn't and i hate this it wasn't until baby metal came out oh god that i actually heard a metal song that i liked i i don't dislike baby metal but like they are the type but, of metal to me where i can't or i have trouble differentiating the songs from each other just well, like yeah. sound wise there, there's, there's only one baby metal song. It's Gimme Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was my, my real gateway drug, and, and I quickly left it far behind and delved straight into Prague. Prague is where it's at. Yeah. And I don't mean the place, Prague. I mean, th they're pretty cool too. Oh, but... yeah. yeah. Their orchestra is awesome. Haven't you died already? No, not this turn. This boss is just an asshole. Honestly, one of the best boss designs in this game, by virtue of it being like nothing like any other boss. Possibly one of the most frustrating things you have to deal with. <laughs> and then when you finally do find him, like you have to drop in, and he has an attack waiting for you. All right, so let's see. Um, I can I can delete brutal games now. <laughs> ah, my favorite segment. John organizes his team life, which is separate from John does normal things that shouldn't be done in front of an audience. That it's like you think it's a subcategory, but it is in fact a completely different segment. Because this one's such a mainstay. That it, it can't just be forgotten inside of that other. Happened once before. Yeah, and we'll never fucking forget about it. <laughs> because you keep reminding us about it. No, it's because John keeps deciding to do it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, what else are you gonna delete? Uh, well, I mean, Environmental Station Alpha we played a while back. It was a uh, it was the pre-stream, and it glitched out before I was able to beat it. Um. Does maybe that mean if you I had need time to revisit now, it, or I does could, that mean you need to delete it? I could, I could revisit it. Maybe you really could. Yeah. There's potential there. There's potential there. I'll, I'll add it to games I wish I could play. Um. Uh, Fez. I feel like I'm gonna move to garbage pieces of trash because. Uh, I seem to recall that being an accurate description. He is. Yeah, I don't know much piece about trash. the game, but I know that the dev is apparently, uh... <laughs> a garbage piece of trash. <laughs> uh. 
so far my uh, garbage pieces of trash uh, subfile is uh, bit trip runner which is just boring as fuck is it it it's a it's a runner game. You run in a straight line to the right and you jump over things. Likely it's like your steel? It's like Flappy Bird, but somehow even easier. Um, uh, unfortunately you lose the boss. I mean that's that's what this boss is. Uh he's fucking I, I nothing somewhere though if you want to listen to that. I put brutal games in the garbage pieces of trash, fortunately. Even I though I think it's it's possibly the best uh, battle royale I've ever played. Oh, is that the one where that has two players? Uh, not when we were playing it. Did, did I did I over exaggerate? <laughs> Correct. Uh, I actually, um... You said not when we were playing it, so you and someone else were playing Tim. it, but it somehow had fewer than two players? Um, I was spectating. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was in spectator mode, basically. <laughs> um, when he was logged in, he was the five-day peak. Yeah. For the player base. That's, uh, that was my nickname in high school. Uh, five-day peak? <laughs> Gratuitous space battles, which that seems would be a cool name. Like that is an awesome high school name. It <laughs> gratuitous space battles seems like it would be a really fun game, but it's just boring. You you construct ships and then place them out and then watch them fight other ships, but it's 2D top down, all in the same plane. And you can't really control anything. Can't control anything? And unfortunately, I had to put Ty the Tasmanian Tiger in there because he's kind of trash. Aww. <laughs> Why do you have Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? <laughs> uh, well, you know me, I love he playing... You streaming it for a while. Uh, 3D oh, platformers with collectibles. <laughs> Love might be a strong word. Uh, actually, I might need to do it as a knockoff of uh, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> you might. Ooh, or I know what you could do as a knockoff of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> if you say the game, I think you're gonna say Is you're it sleeping ukulele? on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's letter number number. Mighty number nine. Actually, it's letter, letter, number. Number. <laughs> 64 is a number. <sighs> How are you not fucking dead yet? Because I can't find this <laughs> fucking asshole. I hate this place. <laughs> yeah, I know some say Cosm. You've said that. <clears throat> Do I have to fall down here? Is this a different area? Does not look like it. <sighs> I feel like I am missing a section, like a place to go, but I'm not sure where it would be. I think I'm missing the point. Of what? Life. <laughs> well, really hate that voice line he does. Man, I really need to to add Adventure Quest 3D to uh, garbage pieces of trash. <laughs> Which, by the way, is a game that I keep downloaded and updated. Adventure Quest 3D. Yes. <laughs> okay. Fuck this man. <laughs> Seven hours to find him and he one shots me. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks everyone for coming. Bye bye. Thanks. For, bye. First off, incorrect. Thanks everyone for caming. <laughs> Came. <laughs> thanks everyone for nooting. Thanks everyone who come. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>